All right. Right foot. Okay. See, sometimes you need that to kind of guide them around the block a little bit, you know? Because they, 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 where's the, I don't understand where the food's going. So, up. Uh -huh. So for now, really this food should be, his behavior should bring the food out. I shouldn't really be having the food in front of me. Mm -hmm. That's okay initially. So I'm going to give you two exercises for the same place, okay? And then we're going to start adding and adding and adding stuff. It's not complicated, it's just, just stuff, but it's mm -hmm. great for him. He's bent to be about here in the center. I start to spin, show him the other hand, double pay reward, then glide back to smiley. Good mm -hmm. boy, good boy. So the next one we're going to do is I'm going to call him here and just put the camera there. Just think this, think going straight back. And do the same with your hands. So you got this is what this is what you're going to do. Show him the food. Step back, turn the hand, step in. That's all you're going to do. Okay. Everyone gets involved in all this. They turn the shoulders. He watches your body. So if you keep this, all he's going to do is follow your hand. If okay. you start doing this, his body will do that. If you do this with your hand, he'll follow your hand out there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to call him to me. So this one here is called finish. Finish into the heel position. Okay. And this one's literally just called heel. Teaching them two ways to get to the same spot. The spot where he walks on the leash with you. Smiley. Mm -hmm. Good boy. We're going to get paid for the recall and go a bit further away. He comes in. Now I show him the food. I go nice and deep. I turn around. I come back. The payment. Just flush with the shin. Got it. Lots and lots of grub. Smiley. <coughs> so two ways mm -hmm. to get to that. When you've got this figured out, then we start adding stuff. We're going to add front, center, walk between my legs with me, front, and then back into heel. Mm -hmm. Then we'll teach him switch, i.e. aggressive dogs coming, or some pack of dogs, or something yeah. you don't like. Mm -hmm. Let's get you from this side, buddy. Over. I call this dress. You guys okay. call it anything you like. That's just that's an old military term meaning a dress. Address yourself, get here. Mm -hmm. But you can say bright or okay. spot or anything that suits you. I just that's just my term I mm -hmm. use is dress. And you'll probably see it in the vocals maybe. So again, again we come here, heel, finish. Finish is gonna be from center. Around here. Mm -hmm. And then heel itself is literally the professional gear will sport finish. Yeah, there, there, Back. got it. Okay. And it's fun for him. He's coming to you to get paid. He's doing a really good job. In fact, I'm just going to pay him mm -hmm. for being some handsome and stay in there while we were chatting away. Wait. not really big deals where you place your hand and your legs will orientate his body so I touched upon it a few seconds ago so think about your pan seams as being your payment payment points okay and then just keep yourself kind of nice and square and everything 90 degrees and all that stuff because you'll see him going to do this and that's dependent on how you're feeding so if you do this he'll orientate out towards the palm of your hand that's what he's used to 90 degrees to this so if you pay him this way He'll yeah. be over there. So if you find his ass going over this way, mm -hmm. put your hand in that way. You can mm -hmm. control it all. And if you go on video, you'll, you'll be able to critique yourself mm -hmm. a wee bit. Then we can start to tweak it. 
So this time I'm going to call him to me. I'm going to put him in a heel position. Then I'm going to put him back into a front position. Okay. Just for a little bit of fun. It's all just, it's all just fun. Step deep, she's retreat, I turn my hand around, come back in, now I'm going to show my other hand, step right hand, right leg, and now he's back into that recall. Smiley! <laughs> I mean, they blow me away, man, just like they're so young, and yet they're switched on. They yeah, really are yeah. switched on. Because why? Yeah. This is good fun. Yeah, he's yeah, moving, yeah. He's getting some grub. He's mm -hmm. liking interacting with people. He's having a good time. He, he, I, I'm sure that he would rather be doing this than actually just like walking around the yard or like finding things. Yeah, but yeah, that's yeah. okay, you know. Yeah. Okay, so let's get him, let's get to do the finish again. Uh -uh. Oh, good catch, good impulse control, buddy. Behind me through my legs. Okay. Reluctant to go through. Let's see if we come back this way. Yes, good boy. We'll try it again. I think there's some kind of. You know, sometimes you put your hands on your ears and you get that kind of seashell effect, that kind of. Mm. I believe they get something like that from going through between your legs mm. and some kind of pressure change or mm. sound differential. I see. What I want him to do, we always encourage him to come deep. We encourage him to come deep so mm -hmm. he to start realizing there's value in going through my legs. A little bit wider, throw it through, he goes through, show him some food, he comes back. Boy, I'm going to walk forward a little bit and come back. Good. Come back. Good. I love this marriage, it's just so much fun. <laughs> Each little dog's got its own little personality. Yeah. Got different little challenges, you know. Yeah. He won't know where it starts, he won't know where it finishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll all get frustrated because it'll just be a big blur. Mm -hmm. And it's hard because it's, the better he gets at it, it's like, well, shit, let's do some of this. Mm -hmm. And that's fine. Keep keep the overhead picture of this is kind of like, um, well, I call it a command drill. This is really, we're really venturing off into uh, sports obedience, but it's great for them. And I figured this out about 10 years ago that pups love this as much as the grown up dogs. Mm -hmm. And you can do it to vocalization, you can do it to yeah. sound, or you can do it, you know, you can do it to an indicator. Mm -hmm. They love it all. So make it fun for them. So but be concise. It's like, um, mm -hmm. you know, if you're teaching something, so my adage is to teach, practice, name, test, proof. 
we want to let him have some clear consistency. This means recall. That means recall as well. Mm -hmm. okay? This means get into this position. This mm -hmm. means your heel. Okay. This right hand, right leg is your front position, feeding with me. Go through my legs and turn around. Walk with me. Walk forward, turn around, and look at me. Come back, turn around. Remember we did that whole mm -hmm. breaststroke thing where mm -hmm. dog comes this way, counterclockwise. He comes this way, mm -hmm. clockwise. So we'll teach him finish first. Then we'll teach him heel on this side. Then we got one, two, three kind of positions around the clock, like a twelve, uh, a nine, a twelve, and a three. Mm -hmm. Dress, or whatever you want to call it, we've got heel and we've got front. The center is really your six o'clock. He's going through, but he's turning around and coming back. So he'll orientate himself to the, he'll understand those. Mm -hmm. They're very pattern based dogs, you know. What are you doing, bud? Need a drink? See that? So he was here and he expected me to go, so he just walked there. Mm -hmm. And why shouldn't he? What I'm saying to him is, great, you're in the right position, we're not paying you because you go off. Mm -hmm. Go back to finish. Good boy, good boy. So I'm paying more for recall than I am for smiley. Oh, let's go. Let's go. Good. Yeah. Okay. Good boy. I want to see if I can get him to calm down. I want to see if he's sitting. Yes, good boy, I'm gonna pay for the sit now. Good, good boy. Now I'm getting to just, and now I'm inserting the chip. Come back, he comes back. So you should turn around, that's okay. Down instead of a sit. There you go, that work. Okay. You see, you can have a kind of whole lot of fun mm -hmm. with this. Start yeah. with them in a standing position. This is for the future, not, not today for the lesson. Mm -hmm. Start in your stand. You pay him for the stand. Mm -hmm. When he gets competent, or we do, cognizant of where the positions are, then we start to infiltrate a little bit of sit. Maybe you start to ask for a down. We can get into a sit up and you do a stand. It's a bit like when you're working weight or stay. You want to start with a down position, mm -hmm. you want to get the dog to come up into a sit position, and work, work weight and stay from a sit position, and finally work weight and stay from a stand. Mm -hmm. A dog has a great weight and stay in a stand position. Mm -hmm. Now you've got a dog that's really governing himself. That's why I like the down first, because you've got to get their ass up mm -hmm. before they're free. Mm -hmm. Now a dog is standing and he's waiting for you, and you're going 15, 20 foot, whatever, you do circles around him. Now you've got a dog that's got some tools, he mm -hmm. can manage himself well, he's calm, he's fixed, you know? Mm -hmm. Let's try that again. This one takes four to five, and they sort of start to get it. It's just an odd one for them, I think, initially. Mm -hmm. Leg comes back in, show it, turn. Hold on, it's here. Another way to do it is you do this. on the end, mm -hmm. make it a piece of cheese, but the first time he walks around mm -hmm. there completely, you should be saying, 
starts to move around after two times, mm -hmm. just stick go. your thumb on your pant seam, but, and that'll give you a fixed point, and it'll also stop him from pushing your hand into different directions, because he's mm -hmm. not a big guy, mm -hmm. but you yeah. know, we love him, and yeah. we tend to kind of yeah. Yeah. move him, whereas we want to be fixed. Smiley? Smiley? You've got your knees nice and bent, you threw your hand mm -hmm. in the gap. That then helps him. I'll tell you why it helps him. He can follow this niche niche around. When you're upright, like I am, or I was, that's another way of doing it. He's kind of, there's not really a piece for him to understand and follow. Right. Just, so it's like this, and the hand's here. He's like, oh. Right. You know, like it makes it easier. Yeah, a yeah, little tunnel, absolutely. Yeah. Let's ever get a little video of this one. If I can actually do it again, I'll just get a little video of that. That's yeah, okay. Yeah, I can, can it happen once I say? Of course, yeah. Oh, I'll take it there, right? Please, yeah. Always wash your hands after this stuff, man. It's cool. Yeah. <laughs> but it just seems yeah, pretty sticky. Yeah. <laughs> My nephew tried some the other day. He said, just for people? I said, well, it's meant to be. I said, well, I wouldn't recommend it. He went, <laughs> no, I don't eat that. I said, I it's meant to be like hot dog soap. I've taken advice of every single thing we're I, doing. You here. should. Yes, just because I don't you know, should. you know yeah, how, you how terrible this is very much. Smiling. Down. Down, a few side notes. Yeah. Wait. Okay, now. So, what do you think happened there? Uh, I think the direction I, I wasn't like holding it properly, and yeah. like I was like trying to fix that's it on the go. He was doing it. perfect, and so were you. And yeah. literally, he came around the back of you, Christian, turned into you, and then the hand made his ass. Yeah, yeah. So, you yeah. got it. You I, I noticed it like a piece, of, a piece of it fell, and I tried to like get yeah. him to not see the piece. And no, it's a it didn't work, yeah. great job, man. Great job. One more. Let's stick him on there. All right. And let's just go through. Wait. This this cross here is fantastic. So you're going to come back with your leg. As this leg's coming back, he's following the food. Mm -hmm. Your hand wants to finish where your heel is. Okay. That's his nose. Okay. Turn it back. Just step back in. So literally, if I'm in front of you, guide him. Mm -hmm. Step back. Mm -hmm. Step back in. All right. So that's just that position from the front. Mm -hmm. Here. Going in the back, yeah, yeah. follows, mm -hmm. and he follows, abs absolutely, man, just like that. All right. All right, let's see. Smiley. Down. Down. Yeah. Wait. Wait. They devalue mm -hmm. the recall when we start to do that. Right, it, right. I wouldn't say it makes it less interesting because you're using great treats, but 
I think you can get two lots mm -hmm. of two things as mm -hmm. opposed to one shared with two. Right, mm -hmm. right. Smiley? <laughs> Down? Wait. Load your left hand up to shift like that. Yeah. Your right hand for your recall, then you just put the foot forward with your left hand, step back, left hand. Oh, so I, can, so I can do the, the cam with my right hand Absolutely. and then the other. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you good, man? One sec. No? No? You got to step. Oh. Now, the reason I'll tell you why, it's a lot. It's yeah. a lot. The, the reason I say that not is giving him space you've got to give him time to follow it mm -hmm. and turn his little body around got to it. line him back up yeah. to kind of be like this for you. Mm -hmm. If we go here, so we don't step, he gets all jumbled up. Yeah. And yeah. Then he comes in yeah. like a big ball of wool. Mm -hmm. And he's like, what you, what you, you know? Mm -hmm. So you want, this, this is what you're doing. You're doing that first with this side, and then we're doing this. Mm -hmm. With that one, that's how you can use yeah. both hands. Yeah. Yeah. Load your right, use it up, offer your left, mm -hmm. step back deep, okay. bring guide him back in. He'll get it all, he, he really will. Right? Now, wait. to get the coordination like i think yeah, he needs, he needs more, more space to come in and yeah the okay. timing is important you, you're doing a good job uh, i would say think about two different arms of the come hey offer step back mm -hmm. step in hey yeah yeah go mechanical go robotic and yeah. then have yeah. fun with it later on yeah can, can you do it once so i can get it like, on video? Yeah. Let, let me do it to the camera maybe yeah Oh, this thing is a sticky. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get crap all over your phone. That's so good. I'm going to load my right hand up and load my left hand up. I'm going to out and then back and pay. And then chill and I will step back deep. See where my hand is? Mm -hmm. guide him between this gap between my leg and the garage door. Now his ass can't go sideways. Now he has to come in nice and parallel. Mm -hmm. Just that little trick there. We can even make it a wee bit shorter. Props are fantastic for training dogs. Because mm -hmm. we can guide them, you know. Back over here. Smiley. Okay. So we got Right hand side of our body, recall is our indicator, payment, come, pay. Yeah. Yeah. Or you may have an extra piece of food and you adjust it right then. Mm -hmm. The main thing is be hard on yourselves and you're being on him. And mm -hmm. He'll get better from you adjusting mm -hmm. you. He is the result of everything we do with him. He's not teaching us per se. Mm -hmm. But if we are consistent and concise and really fair, mm -hmm. and most of all, kind of oversee ourselves from kind of 30,000 feet, right? Ah, I'm not 
Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think we've we've been able to learn the like break from from training. Okay. Um, like we don't, I, I don't think we're okay, break we're or doing free. It. Yeah, break or free. You you're not using it, or he hasn't got it. We don't know how to do it. Okay. All right. Yeah. So let's say this. You so you've done some stay commands, yeah. Stay, yes. Okay. So let's just say we've done a weight situation. We're now working stay. Right hand, left leg. Okay. We're varying some distances. We're coming back and we're rewarding. Right hand, dog mm -hmm. in front of us. Yeah. Come back in. Break. Okay. So that's that's break backwards. So let's just do it forwards. Okay, break your feet. We're all to mean the same thing. Smiley. If I'm going to call him to me, I just need to say one of those things in front of the next command. Okay, come. Break, come. Free, come. It just means the last thing the last thing you did is over. There's oh. no payment indicated. Okay. So I can say, I'm going to say, okay, come. Okay, come. Or I can say, free, come. Or... I might say to him, smiley. Good. Wait. Wait. Good. Uh, up. Down. This is hard for a youngster. Good, good boy. Uh, up. No, come here. That's where you need a leash. Trying to see if I can, I can orbit around him. Good boy. Sometimes it's easier to treat him, to keep him in the spot. Mm -hmm. Good boy. Good boy. Good. Good boy. Break. Okay. So that's over. Time off. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If he wants to come back and offer a behavior, that's great. You can feed him for that. Mm -hmm. you, you've got to give a dog some time to just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we we want to because uh, it gets like the the training sessions get uh, too long and in, they need an end. They uh, need uh, a, absolutely, and yeah. they need to know when the end is. Exactly. And they need to know beginning and an end. Yeah, and they really do. Yeah. Smiley, let's go. So here, I've sent him twice, and he's getting he's a puppy. So you need the leash. You mm -hmm. Really, this should all be done with like a fifteen foot line or a lightweight fifteen foot line. Mm -hmm. He wanders around. Come on, bub. Paying him on the smiley spot. Down. Last thing twice. He's getting full, he's getting distracted. Don't need to go into battle about it. Oh. Good boy. Good. Good. Now, if I was doing this on a regular basis, I'm moving, so I'm now adding distraction. We got to move. If he stayed there, this is when I'd come back and give the cheese. Because mm -hmm. I'm making it extra difficult. Mm -hmm. Boy. Good. I'm going to figure out how to open this stuff. Good 
test teach, mm -hmm. practice name. And now we're in test and proof. Wait. Nothing wrong with coming in as we do with weight and as we do with stay. And just say to him, you're doing a fantastic job. But leading up to the break in a second. Low, mm -hmm. but I'm also doing it because he can focus on this hand and mm -hmm. see there's something being thrown. I think it's too easy to come in and say, Break your hands way up here, you may have the sun in his eyes. Mm -hmm. get, get your ass down and mm -hmm. show them this great stuff. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. think, oh, oh, break means so. I use break either to the side and to the back. I'm not really a big fan on giving the dog a break on the, on the recall, it can be confusing. Uh, so I can anticipate that. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean it shouldn't be used, no, I'm not trying to say that, mm -hmm. but let them have an understanding of what they're trying to achieve first, and just initially just use your okay break and free either the side or behind. Got and it. then they got a concept of that. He already knows that if you've got to wait then, like you say, come, he comes to you. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you don't need to add. Yeah, one extra step. But you don't yeah. need to add, add it there, you can pop it in later on. Mm -hmm. um. But other, other things that maybe you yeah, uh, the lease. The lease has been uh, quite quite a challenge. Okay, is he still a little bit weird on it? A little bit. He's gotten better, okay. and uh, we've we've been just putting it on him for uh, five ten minutes at a time, okay. like once a day maybe. Yep. Sometimes like no, you don't do once it. an hour. Once an hour. That's what Tex said. Put on yeah. for five minutes yeah. once an hour. Yeah, it's he he doesn't like that. <laughs> well, he's gonna have to get over it. There, there, yeah. there's some things that aren't gonna really be pleasant for him. Some things he's gonna have to figure his shit out. Right. So, yeah. You can maybe get the leash, cut half of it off. I, I, I wonder if there is something about that we're doing wrong, about the body language or... No, or he just didn't like the experience. The, 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 yeah. That first pull said, I don't like this and I'm not going to put up with it. What do we do when he has the leash and just sits down in the floor and refuses walk away. to just walk away? You can either walk away attached to him. Yeah. So here's the deal. He's either going to fight it forever yeah. or he's going to give up at some point. Okay. So okay. let's just go and get it. I mean, you can, yeah. you, so food reinforces about, is, is about coaxing. Mm -hmm. So you might have some chicken or some bacon. You say, bah, 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 bah. Yeah. So the association of the leash gives it yeah. higher value. Yeah, yeah. But old school is like the leash, and you're going to go, I don't care what he wants. Got it. So there's, you've got to pick your back. You want to kind of, mm -hmm. you know. You might try a different leash, a different color. This yeah. one has been a lot easier than this. Okay. But get a cheap one, get, go to mm -hmm. the pet shop, get yeah. something cheap, yeah. chippy. If it's too long for him, cut a bit of it off, you know? Mm -hmm. So you ask him to do something when he's wary, so don't ask him. Mm -hmm. Just go to him, put it on him. All right. Because when you ask him to comply when they're scared, mm -hmm. you're reducing your capability as a trainer. Oh, no. So, 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 so what you can do here is put that down, mm -hmm. go get him, and then come back to that. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you're saying to him, I've got this big right. knife, I'm going to stick it in you. And he's like, you're not going to know. <laughs> so it, it's hard, man. It's, right. like, it's, it's like breaking apart all those different bits and pieces there. Because mm -hmm. I use this for heel training. So when I use this, I've got a dog. The dog goes this way, I then turn and go this way. Mm -hmm. I've got my right hand side, I turn left. He goes too far in front of me, I then turn the right. Mm -hmm. And that's what I primarily use these for. Okay. So you can coax him with some food, or you might just say, you know, let's see what he does. Take the brake off. Come on, bub. Come on. So, I'm a 
just going to walk. Yeah, See yeah, yeah. Place. So I'm going to put the brake on. Come on, Cosy, it's the easiest thing. Never got used to this. Well, you know what? It's your will be his. No, I'm going crazy. Come on, bud. I'm not yanking him. Mm -hmm. You know, he's had a good time up to him now. He's just saying, I don't like this. So, you can coax him with food. You can put the chicken on the floor. You do whatever. I think really, just gently, just saying you're coming with me. Mm -hmm. he's, just, he's going to have to get over it. He's decided in his mind it's kind of traumatic. Yeah, we didn't want to like force it before running it by you because we didn't want to like create another fear or no, something like that. You know. What you doing? Are you being silly? <laughs> He's got a little thing in his head, and that's okay. You just, you just got to just, just change mm -hmm. it. Make the association with this a fun thing. Mm -hmm. So maybe you know you put on, you watch the TV at night. You set this to ten foot, measure or whatever. Make a little mark with a pen, mm -hmm. and you have this by the couch, and he's on it. And every time he moves towards you, okay, make two, two, three inches mm -hmm. like this. Draw a treat. So he's, he's walking towards that. So the closer I get to this, the more I get fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, we, we can do all that. Yeah, you can. I mean, it's, it's, it's easy, you know, when you're in the pot and you're worried about things, it's, it's hard to see the answer. Right, yeah. Good. And especially because we don't, we don't have the same lens that you do, like with the whole, like we love him, and then he started like, crying and whining, and we're like, I, I don't know, like, Awaken some something on us that we don't want to make. No, absolutely, cry, man. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And, and I don't want you to either. It's, mm -hmm. So, so my, Gordon's adage is fair, firm, pressure, consequence. 
Mm -hmm. At some point, you will use all four. Mm -hmm. Ideally, if it's fairness. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes a bit of firmness. Sometimes a little <coughs> pressure is needed. And sometimes when they're being bratty or just being really odd, there has to be some type of consequence. Yeah. I'm not talking about brutality. There yeah, has yeah. to be something where he says, oh, I can't get away with that. Mm -hmm. And that's really what we're giving him. It's like, yeah, what did I do? What, happened? what caused that? Yeah. Oh, okay. that's, that's actually a good segue to the other question that we had. And it's that um, he's been waking up slightly earlier now. And um, we go to the pen, take him out, he goes for a pee. And then we put him back in the pen, hoping that he will chill for another yep. hour or so, so we right. can uh, get some sleep, because it's at like 5 a.m. Okay. He doesn't go back to sleep, and he starts like barking and whining. Okay. And just, like, being, what do you guys do with that? Being loud. We try to ignore it as much as possible, but it's it's starting to become an issue. Sure. So, the, okay, so let's do step number one, Gordon's guilt, uh, guilt list. You know, so fed at six, water for maybe an hour, yeah. tops, and then he's giving multiple peas before he goes to his bed. Yeah. So puppy for me, he goes to bed at eight. Mm -hmm. In a lock crate, they mm -hmm. can come out at half eight, yeah. nine, half nine, ten. He's at four and a half months? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So he should have a, his brad bladder fairly well squared away now. Mm -hmm. He should, within reason. Is he still getting at 2 a.m.? For the last four or five days, we have not. Uh, okay, any correlation between that and whining in the morning? No. Okay. Yeah. I mean, if you think he's, he, he can safely get through the night without adding too much pressure to his bladder, so I've been with you, what, now, three and a half weeks? Mm -hmm. So you're nearly at a month with the 2 a.m.s, 2 a.m.s. I would say this, are we being consistent pre-sleep? And then it gets to five o'clock, don't get up. Don't, don't feed into his behavior, because he will, he will do whatever he need, thinks he needs to do, or he'll repeat what got him announced before. Mm -hmm. So my dog Hamish, great little fella, except for the women. If he smells a bitch and he is like a tractor. Mm -hmm. And you can really, there's a, a million and one things you could try with that, but I even took him to a behaviourist and the guy said, well, good luck. Mm -hmm. I said, $275 an hour, and I said, well, good luck with that. It's just too late to get him frustrated. The behaviour's already set. You just have to just go the other way, and pull him away, and all the stuff I know I can do. I thought there might be a magic whistle there. <laughs> But it wasn't. He said, well, good luck with that. You know, he's a stud dog. You know, he's bred to work show ring behavior. It's innate in his DNA. Okay. So, this little monkey. Dinner, water, yeah. play, train, whatever you want to do. In bed, locked at 8. Out, mm -hmm. 8.30, 9, 9.30, 10. Yeah. And then, just done. That's, that's exactly what we're doing right now. You know? Um, yeah. My sister, she had her first boy, uh, baby, Jake, who's now 35, living here in America with us. He, say you got fed, I'm saying breastfeeding at 10, 2, and 6. You know. It was more than that. Say it was 10, 12, 2, 4, and 6. Donna stopped the, the 12, the 2. She couldn't break him from waking up at 4 for that feed, mm. despite the fact he didn't need it. So in England, you have a midwife who comes, you've got your own personal kind of nurse. She said, oh, that's okay. Get some water, put some ice cubes in it, put it in the fridge. And when he wakes up, give him freezing cold water. And I guarantee he won't wake up the next day. Donald's like, oh, my baby, freezing cold water. They didn't like it. and didn't like it. Not good memory association. Yeah. Next day, the kids slept through till six. Okay. So I'm not saying you give them freezing cold water. What I'm trying to say is yeah, yeah. don't buy into what he's trying to create okay. or he feels has been created. Mm -hmm. I've got a little border with me. I get up at four, take all my dogs out. We get an hour, walk in, I come back, shower, get some pieces, invoices, emails, and I'm out the door by six o'clock. So what point is that little border when he goes home? Those people are older. They're not going to want to get up at four o'clock. So I have to say to them, look, he's been with me for nearly five weeks. So his pattern is yeah. at four yeah. o'clock, right? Yeah. Hey, Gordon, we're doing something. Yeah. They're going to have to ignore that for a wee bit. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that's that's exactly what it is now. It's just a little little small tiny bark, which is yeah. he needs to go out. We take him out. He pees, he poos, yep. we, we stay with him for like five minutes, he can yep. sniff, we go by, we put him in. And then the bark that comes after that is very different. Sure. It's not a, I need Demand. to go out. It's like, rah, 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 rah. Yeah. And we were freaking out, we didn't know where it was. Like, there was a skunk here, and we thought maybe it got like under oh, the wow. house, okay. and he was like smelling yep. it or something. And we, we couldn't and figure out what it was. Go buy some earplugs for you and Jenny today. <laughs> okay? <laughs> if, as long as you know his bed is clear and cool and dry. Yeah. Yeah, and you've been out at ten o'clock. I, I think maybe it, 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 
you might want to give them just a few more two o'clocks, but that okay. buys in its own behavior as well. So okay, yeah. All right, uh, and the last question that we had is um, any preparation we should be doing towards uh, 4th of July and the fireworks and stuff? Shit, that's a hard one. I'd say go to Ojai. I mean, having you soundproof your house, I mean, my dogs have never reacted to it. Yeah. But my first she, dog, Reg. She hasn't, like, there's, there's fireworks every now and then around here. Uh, especially this week, it's been happening. Yeah. And uh, all he does is like just yeah. that and then ignore it. It may be, you know, you start off with walking around. Yeah. There's some, some loud. Yeah. Shit. We have been playing firework noises uh, to the speaker randomly okay. through the day. Yeah. To see how people Different react. volumes, different rooms. Yeah. yeah. Maybe do a couple of loud bangs on your phone or a, on a repeat. Have that in another room. Mm -hmm. it's, so socialization is pretty much about triggers. Mm -hmm. So triggers is socialization. Mm -hmm. So shape, sound, texture, proximity. Mm -hmm. They're all not triggers, not, not texture, excuse me. Shape, sound, smell, and proximity. Are okay. All triggers to a dog. The intensity of a fox, the intensity and fear of a skunk, the proximity of a big guy. Yeah. Hello, baby. Yeah. Size, shape, odd shape people. Short mm -hmm. people are wide, are like. Mm -hmm. um, I was at a training class for Hamish. It's very, very run of the mill. This big ass black guy walked by with a double bass drum and a shotgun, all in black with a black drum, like yeah. a black case. Yeah. Oh, he went ape shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. The orcs have come for me or something. You know, he's just went yeah. behind us. Yeah. So, get back to your question. Just. Fireworks yeah. are way more intense than that, mm -hmm. but my yeah. point is it's counter conditioning. Lots of different sounds, okay. different times, drop things in the house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Close to you here. Mm -hmm. um, getting used to crap like that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because that's fun. Yeah, yeah. And he's, he's, he, he, when you can't see it, maybe a wee bit different, but if he's mm -hmm. in the lounge or something, you said, Jenny, right, keep him on the leash there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we, we do we do expose him to yeah. stuff, and we've been taking him on the on the sling, on walks, uh, because now he's he has 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 the rabies. Okay, cool. Uh, for for a few days, um, still we haven't like putting him in touch with other dogs or other uh, yeah, just test like thing. random people yet. Full but full coverage is two weeks. From two weeks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you should be getting them out on a on a leash. I would mm -hmm. suggest get up in the morning, walk down the centre of the road. That's yeah, what I suggest yeah. Nice. with the cars and no the bikes. There. No, well, there's nothing there. Oh, okay. I mean, there's no infections. There's no pee or poop. In oh, the I, of the I road. understand. Yeah. So you you got a road like this. Mm -hmm. You walk down the middle. So you can hear the birds mm -hmm. and smelling the skunk and the raccoon from last night. Mm -hmm. You get in. You wash his feet and he wash his legs down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, just. Mm-hmm. Throwing shit for me is like, yeah, 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 especially away from it. Mm -hmm. You saw he was excited like that, he was making a hell of a racket. He was like, Oh, go chase it. Mm -hmm. We don't want to throw shit at him, yeah, obviously. Another one, I think it's really good confidence builder is like develop an alleyway, it could be through your kitchen and have bubble wrap taped to the floor. Yes, yes, you mentioned that. Soil, yeah. um, Save up all your water bottles, mm -hmm. and you can string them together. So he has to walk through them to yeah. come out the back door. Just make notes. There, so yeah, you can maybe make skittles out of them mm -hmm. and throw balls at mm -hmm. them. So he, and he has to walk through thirty of them, mm -hmm. different amounts of water. Yeah. And that's what you want. You want him yeah. engaged. Big yeah. sounds mean big fun. Excited. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Look, have a little sausage. Mm -hmm. Here, look, let's have a look at. Let's look at. Mm -hmm. 